Sharam was just telling about me that I had a big sweet tooth while growing up. So when I was five years old, I thought that I will jet off to this candy land where I would have this river full of chocolates and the mountains would be full of ice creams of different flavors and the trees would have gems which would keep on coming and coming and I would just be in that candy land forever and never come back. So weren't we all, all of us, we, we had the same kind of imagination while growing up before the logic of science took over, isn't it? So today let's chuck the science aside and delve into the world of imagination, which is the theme of today's table topic session. So today I have this magical <coughs> cousin of Bagrati. Do not go by the looks, this would throw you off guard. So here I have some abstract objects. So you have to come, pick one object, and you are free to paint your own picture. So you can just talk about the object in general, uh, use your creativity and come and weave your own story. So basically, the only rule is that there is no rule whatsoever. So guys, don't be Christopher Nolan hat and come and make your own interstellar story. So who would like to come? Sorry, members. Sorry. <laughs> what is this? Fine. Fine. But fine reminds me of wine. <laughs> so I was just thinking, just looking at this one. Why haven't they invented a fine wine? There is one actually. So, so you, if you think about it, <laughs> if you think about it, the, the, the smell of pine is so beautiful, right? It's like so mesmerizing. It's like ecstasy in its own joy. So if, just for example, just forget about the practical thing. If someone just invented a pine wine, how would it be? What would its properties be? I think it would be something similar to what Somaras has been talked about. You can just smell that amazing ecstasy. When you drink it, it, it puts you in ecstasy. It's like all the all the highness that Himalayas brings in their mushrooms and in their weed is put in the extracts of the pine wine. So imagine you just take a sip of pine wine and you are blasted off into the space and you meet the four dimensional gods. Mm -hmm. And they are doing different types of uh, dances. First they start with Kathak. Mm -hmm. And as things mature, they become very slow and contemporary in nature. And, and the, then the clothes change and the hip hop starts. And then your mother or your uh, family starts banging like, what are you doing? All the yelling, you start hearing crazy noises like all the, you start imagining big waves of ocean just flying towards you. And then, then you start imagining what your childhood would be like. And then you remind that, reminded that in your childhood you thought about riding dinosaurs. And, and you imagine that if I had a T-Rex bed, I would just sit on it and saddle it around and travel in Himalaya and I'll be known as the uh, skillsmith, just like who is, who is much better than Will Smith. So with that, I'll end it. <laughs> so, who would like to come next? A guest will come. Yeah. Maybe we can have someone from the guests. Come on, come on. You, you pull, you pull like, people. Take the plunge. You, play, you pull the people. You have all the adventures. Anyone? Yashali? Yes, Yashali. Yes, Yashali. Yes, Yashali. Yes, Yashali. Yes, Yashali. So uh, I was joined as an 
computer in my office which is laptop at the time my manager he gave this book to me and he uh, encourages me to read this book while i'm going through this book i really feel uh, how how the best practices would uh, happen and yeah i really like this uh, while i'm going through this book and i feel the wonderful uh, opportunity that he given me uh, earlier i tried to read uh, novels which are related to ex uh, romantic i would say but uh, yes this is the best book which he referred to me thank you Envelope. <laughs> envelope. Envelope. So when I see this envelope, I remember three idiot movie, <laughs> and which uh, Amir Khan and his friends are going to a marriage and eating their food, and uh, they don't have any money in this, <laughs> zero money. But this can help you. This can be a ticket for you to attend any marriage. Get <laughs> talk and. Uh, be enjoy full food and don't discuss much things when you are eating but do not take so much as this in this movie they have taken so this is a invitation card also for you for attending any marriage and this can be a uh, very threatening also if you are caught up <laughs> so be remember both the things but i used to uh, also when i was young and i was uh, in kota especially one of my friend uh, mr rajesh gambhir i can take his name also we used to attend lot of marriages without knowing them we have who they are and <laughs> <laughs> but we used to attend and we used to dance a lot also so life is a fun just enjoy it worst case is in the jail like our uh, केजरी वाले जल सो
so I have got a pen. Uh, so pen is one of the most powerful, uh, uh, I would say, the uh, equipment, not equipment, but the stationary tool. Uh, tool uh, for for our generation. So this tool we can uh, use for uh, for uh, expressing our idea to to share our our thought across the world. And uh, this tool has given us the power to power to influence people as well. Uh, this is a tool for the leaders <coughs> who are there around us. They have given them the benefit to tell the world and run the world in the in the right way so uh, also this looks very expensive so can i take this <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> At the end of the week, he realized that he had made only seven. Next week started, again only seven. Went on to create 28 in first 28 days of the month. Never took a holiday, very hard working. <laughs> but when the boss came, the creator, he said, why have you done so less? I cannot populate the planet with these 28 people. But God said, you know what? What is most important? The most important thing is beauty. I want people to have mirrors, and when they look at themselves, they should fall in love with themselves. And that is what I am creating. And he went on to create just those masterpieces. God learned this idea, and they thought, you know what? He actually makes sense. But the world needs population and what can be done. So there was this old gentleman and he had to come up with an idea that would make the God create more people, more average quality standard <laughs> equipments. And he still had to ensure that God could still rely on the original wisdom that I should be able to look at this mirror with this face and still fall in love. So he thought, what could I tell him? And he said, you know what, God, how do you see yourself in the mirror? With your eyes. And where does the beauty lie? In the eyes of the beauty. And that thought made God create millions and billions of people just thinking that if I tell them, they will agree. imagination, I want you to imagine 
let's say if this card was given to each one of you and if I ask you to write it on a piece of paper, where exactly do you want to reach, let's say for a vacation, for a holiday? If I ask you, each one of you, to write it on a piece of paper, do it right now. Write the destination where you want to be. And within that span of three to four seconds or while you are thinking about where you want to end up, where you want to experience the, the ideal holiday that you want to be, there would not be any doubt. But if, in normal circumstances, you're discussing it with your partner that this is the place I want to be, you're, talk, you're going to talk about all the finances that are going to be involved, you're going to be talking about all the hurdles that could come while you are going to be there. And that is the most tricky part. So while you're imagining, there is nobody who is questioning you whether you can be there or not. There is a whole range of possibilities that are coming up. But when we start to think analytically, that is where the trouble comes. When we start to think about all the pros and cons, and this is what deters us to get to the state that we want. And that is imagination for me. Thank you. Thanks for this great philosophical speech, Parish. Thank you. Uh, so who would like to come next? Call a guest. Yeah, anyone from the guests? Call a guest if they are not good. Will is greater than skill. Come on. Only will required. The easier ones are left. Shall we clap for them? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
A good sense of humor. So in my office, we have opened, like they have opened a Starbucks uh, at, the, at the bottom, like at the, at the top level. And I've been there, not for me, I, I drink green sex over there mostly, but my colleagues, I pay for them, man. I do that, yeah. That's, that's my experience with the Starbucks. Today we'll give you this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> we have one here. Yeah, we have like one last object. Yeah, yeah, go. So my name is Anmol. Anmol. You are Anmol.